A new traffic light now hangs above a busy Beaufort County roadway, but it has a bird's eye for safety. The Hawk signal is installed on Robert Smalls Parkway in Beaufort between Neal Road and Salem Road. It's part of the latest section of the Spanish Moss Trail and something the county's transportation engineering department says was needed. This is a signal designed specifically for pedestrian and bicycle crossings. It's in a location where we've got heavy expected pedestrians and cyclists that need to get across a busy road. HAWK stands for High Intensity Activated Crosswalk. The beacon signal is designed specifically for pedestrian crosswalks. When we knew we were going to be crossing this, the Spanish Moss Trail at grade, you know, across Robert Smalls Parkway, we realized that we needed to do something to ensure the safety of the pedestrians. The concept first came about in 2000 in Arizona and until late 2009 was an experimental device. It's the first of its kind in Beaufort County and only the second in the entire state of South Carolina. They are designed for more of a mid-block location where you have high pedestrians but don't have a, an adjacent traffic signal for, with normal roadway traffic. We've got a very busy highway and we've got a trail crossing it that's a very popular trail. You know, a lot of pedestrians, a lot of cyclists are using it and we had to figure out a way for them to safely get across. The Hawk does not operate like a normal traffic light, so here's how it works. A pedestrian or cyclist on Spanish Moss Trail presses the button at the intersection, triggering a series of red and yellow lights for drivers. First is the flashing yellow, then solid yellow, letting drivers know to slow down. Solid red, as does any other traffic light, means stop. The pedestrian signal initially shows a solid red hand, and once traffic is stopped, we'll display the usual walk sign. After several seconds, it changes to a blinking hand and drivers see a flashing red light. When the light is flashing red, you have to come to a complete stop, but then if it's clear, then you can move on. When it's solid red, you have to come to a stop and wait. But with flashing red, come to a complete stop, and if it's clear, then you can move on. And for anyone looking for any extra information, if you want to learn more on the proper method for cyclists or pedestrians across or for uh, what motorists can expect, you can go to the Beaufort County website, which is bcgov.net, and there's a brochure available on that website. For the County Channel, I'm Stephanie French.